right now I'm uh, uh, I want to big steamer uh, big steam this fish in in tracing inside the tracing paper uh, the last time I used oven that means it's like uh, the desktop uh, the the normal built-in oven but today I want to show uh, how to use uh, Immer flex this uh, desktop <coughs> Immer flex oven uh. This one can actually put in the whole chicken So I want to try to use this one to show people For those who don't have a built-in oven, they can use this type, okay? Is that you must get a plate that can go into the table oven eh? The inner flex oven So now is that this plate I tested can go in So then I'm going to use the whole piece of tracing paper to wrap up so you fold the line first, that's where the center is. Today we'll be doing the bonzu, Japanese bonzu type. Huh? That means it's uh, citrus, uh, citrus uh, soy sauce. Then of course I'll be adding other to add in the flavors. And here is the tomato. Some thinly sliced <clears throat> whatever vegetables that you like to put in you can add in but of course not the soft soft type now, huh? so the base I put uh, usually I will put uh, onions or you can put even uh, celery so it's very much up to your flavor huh? then the other thing I would like to add is Shimeji mushroom So we try to put all the Vegetables all at the bottom eh? So that you can soak up the soy sauce later You can put any kind of mushroom you like even uh, Shiitake mushroom or the button mushroom also can This is uh, the rupa, the red rupa fish. Okay, it's a white fish. So I will put the fish skin on top. And I add some ginger slices on top. Actually at the bottom if you want to put some also can. Then I'll put some cilantro roots, eh? coriander roots. Okay, here I have mirin sauce. Eh? This is mirin sauce and half a lemon. And I will put two tablespoons of Worcester sauce onto the fish first. And this is the bonzu sauce you can get from NTUC or any of the big supermarket they have or the Japanese shop this one has some uh, citrusy flavor so it's about three tablespoons because we have a lot of vegetables here okay, I will add in this here I have Two tablespoons of mirin sauce and half a lemon. So I'm using half of it. Eh? And now the last thing I'll add is olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. Eh? Yeah. 
in this manner you in this way you uh, bake your fish the skin will not be so crispy so because it's like skin baked yeah? make sure it's closed properly so that the the steam can cook inside all right so it's like a puzzle huh? so now uh, we put into the oven uh, at 100 uh, at 200 degrees for 15 minutes Here I will put up to 200 degrees and here is to adjust the timing for 15 minutes, 1-5. Uh. This is called a turbo boiler. It's actually, it works like an oven. This one is supposed to be, you are supposed to serve this uh, at the dining table huh? so that you cut in front of your guests and they will be very impressed. So the fish is already cooked. Huh? The fish cannot be frozen huh? when you put inside the oven. It must be room temperature. Yeah, it must be frosted. Preferably, you buy fresh from the market, then straight away. And now you can serve like this. And if you like, you can add uh, either olive oil or sesame oil. Now I'm adding sesame oil. 